All right, what's going on everyone? It's Josh here from Crypto Busy and Merry Christmas to everyone watching right now. I'm filming this just before Christmas Day. Uh, you know, I don't want to be recording on Christmas Day itself, but still making sure we're putting out two videos every single day like we have done for the past couple of months. So uh, yeah, a big thank you to everyone that subscribed and supported us this year. It's been a crazy journey. We started this year with 5,000 subscribers and we're, we've just hit 60,000, which is just insane. Um, so a big thank you for all the support. And as always, if you leave a like on the video, we really do appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel for more. And I hope everyone's Christmas is going well. Let me know down in the comments things you've got and things you're going to be buying in the crypto market or crypto related items in the coming year. I'd be very excited to know and uh, very interested. So anyway, guys, let's get straight into the video. A Merry Christmas. So guys, it's been a pretty crazy year, right? We've had the pandemic. We've had the elections. We've had Bitcoin going crazy. It's been a, uh, a pretty up and down year, but I'm sure Bitcoin and crypto exploding is what a lot of us will take away going into 2021. And uh, I think going into 2021, it's really important to build that winning portfolio. Maybe you already have one. And if you do, then congratulations to you. And hopefully, uh, you know, long may the gains continue. But if you don't, and let's say you're newer or you just keep jumping from coin to coin, well, hopefully this video will help out a little bit. Now, as I've said before, it is pretty much Christmas Day right now. Uh, especially when you guys are watching this, if you watch this on the day it comes out. And so I'm going to make this pretty short because I know not everyone has time to watch a crypto video on the Christmas day and nor should they, for example, <laughs> you know, maybe you want to spend time with family or friends or whatever you can do in this, uh, you know, lockdown in some places. But it is what it is. And I hope all of you have a fantastic Christmas. But today we're going to be talking about this portfolio, the structure of it, how I personally will invest my money, have invested my money. Um, not the exact coins, but kind of the structure. And this will just be kind of a short video and you guys can feel free to just listen to it as well. There's not going to be too much going on on the screen, but let's get straight into it. So guys, as you all know, if you've been following me for a while now, Bitcoin is the majority of my investment. Always has been, always will be. 30% to 40% of my portfolio, my entire portfolio is in Bitcoin. And this is just for stability reasons as well as, well, of course, I believe in Bitcoin as a store of value. And I do think that, you know, this is going to be the coin that institutions buy up or buy most of as that store of value, that digital gold. And I think through this, you might not get 100x gains. You probably won't get 100x gains, uh, but you might get 5 to 10x gains in, let's say, the next five years. And compare that to the stock market, guys, or any other kind of market. Those kinds of gains are unheard of. On a good day for a stock, you're looking at a 2 or 3% gain increase. Whereas you go on the crypto market, and as you can see here, in the last 24 hours, we've had one thing go up 24%, one coin go up 20%. It's just left and right going crazy, right? All the time. And this is this is great. This is volatility. This is why a lot of us are in the market. For those gains, you're not going to find anywhere else. It's, it's new, it's exciting, it's fresh. And institutions are now coming in, making it even more exciting. So 30 to 40% of my portfolio is in Bitcoin. For that stability reason, for those slow but steady gains, not even slow and steady at the moment though, very fast and uh, not so steady, but uh, it's uh, it's all good and we, we like the gains regardless. So Bitcoin is there for that kind of hedge, uh, but also to maintain some stability in what is not such a stable marketplace. Now Ethereum, I also have a good chunk of that. I would say maybe 10% of my portfolio is in there. So let's say we say 30% is in Bitcoin. I would say about 10% is in Ethereum. So that makes up 40% is literally just the top two coins. So that is enough again for that stability. I would say Ethereum is also always going to be around in my eyes. They've just had 2.0 rollout. Now that doesn't mean something like Cardano might not come along and outsize it one day. But I think Ethereum will always be there as one of the main leaders when it comes to smart contracts and stuff like that. So I do think Ethereum is a very, very good coin to invest in. And considering it's been at $1,400 before, I think there's no harm in holding some. So that is that. I also hold around 5% of uh, my total portfolio in Tether. Now you're probably thinking, why do I do that? It's not going to go anywhere. And that's exactly the point. Not only is it stability, but it's also fresh capital that I can use to buy up dips on coins that I'm holding. So that is 45% of my portfolio in total on just the top three here. Now on top of that, I spread out a further 20% of my portfolio on the top 20 coins. Now this isn't all the top 20. This is just some of them. 
to name a few, we have Cardano, Chainlink, Polkadot, um, Stellar Lumens, uh, we have Tezos, and that is pretty much not it, it, but that's most of the coins that I'm invested in. Litecoin as well, I have, hold a little bit. Amongst the top 20, I do have an, a further 20% of my portfolio invested. So now that is a total of 65% of my portfolio, and we haven't even made it out of the top 20 yet. <laughs> now we do have 35% left. Now guys, you also need to look at it from the perspective of your own finances. Now it's completely up to you how much you invest. There's no judgment. <laughs> There's uh, It's completely up to you whether you, whether you invest $100, or a hundred thousand dollars, or a million dollars, or ten thousand dollars, whatever. Now, in my case, I'm investing quite a lot. I'd say I don't know what the average investor invests, but I would say it's probably more on the uh, higher side of that. And for me, that means I know that even if I get that five to ten x rather than a hundred x, I'm going to be very happy. But for someone that's investing lower amounts, then you might want to up the risk of your portfolio to get more reward. You know, so. If someone's sitting there with $100,000 to invest, my advice, if I was a financial advisor, which I'm not, <laughs> um, I would say literally just put it in the top 20 coins. You're going to get that slow, steady growth. It's very unlikely that they're going to fail as coins. Maybe a few will, but it's very, very unlikely. And uh, you're going to get those slow, steady gains. You might get that 5, 10x on your money. There you go. That is, what well, if you're getting a 5x, that's half a million. If you're getting a 10x, that's $1 million from that 100k. And if you have a million dollars and you're investing, I would say the exact same. Whereas if you're investing $100 or $1,000, then that's going to be more like, okay, don't invest as much in those higher cap coins. This is where we want to look at the lower cap coins. Now, let's get back to what I was saying. So 65% of my portfolio is within the top 20. So that leaves me with 35%. What do I do with that 35%? Well, in the top 100, so between the top 20 and the top 100, so those 80 coins there, I own a further 15% of my portfolio in those. So that leaves me with 20% left. Now, just to name a few, again, I don't want to go through all of them because there are 80 coins here. I don't own all of them, of course. Um, but Theta Token, I, I like VeChain, own a lot of VeChain. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, Zilliqa, as you guys know, that's one of my biggest holdings. Um, We've got Kusama I like. I actually got into Kusama around $7, so I was very happy about that. Uh, Algorand I really like. Um, I do hold some uh, Digibytes, some 0x, but you know, there's tons of coins here, guys. And like I said, that is a further 15% of my portfolio. So now we're left with 20%. And you're probably thinking, Josh, what do you do with that 20%? Well, I split this now into 10 and 10%. 10% goes to coins that are kind of between the 100 and 200 or 300 zone in coin market cap. I'll give you a couple of examples in a second. Uh, and then the last 10% is a very much high risk, high reward. Uh, put that into small, small cap coins to try and get those 100x gains. So let me give you a couple of examples. So I take 10% and uh, I pretty much have it, I'd say in probably two coins, but one coin in particular. And uh, this is a big, big investment. Uh, you trust for me is a, a very big investment. This is a $50 million market cap. I really like the project. I think they're doing amazing stuff. I think they're going to be market leaders in what they do. Uh, definitely check them out if you haven't already. Uh, just this is one of my favorite coins. And this is the type of coin that I put a lot of money into. This is a $50 million market cap coin, meaning if they were to 100x, then their market cap would be 5 billion, which isn't actually that large when you think about it. If you think, let's say over the next two years, crypto is going to grow immensely, 5 billion is quite achievable. Um, and I do think, you know, that is 100x. So I would be very, very happy with a 100x on my money there. Um, so that is, a, I'd say probably 6% of my portfolio is in this coin alone. And then the remaining 4% is spread out between a few other coins between ranks 100 and 300 in coin market cap. And finally, we have that last 10%, as I was telling you about, is high risk, high reward. We're talking going on to filters, market cap, between 1 to 10 million. These are small cap coins that if they were to 100x, their market cap would only be maximum 100 million, which again is not that big at all. Now, I don't really have too many that I'm going to go into. We have a video coming at some point, which will be kind of on low cap coins. We're actually going to start a new series. And... Um, so I'll go more in depth there, but for example, I would look on these, I would look at all these coins between one and $10 million market cap, 
and I would invest around 10% of my portfolio, spread it between maybe five to 10 different coins. Because at this way, let's say, um, let's say you had $1,000 to invest uh, into 10 coins. If you invest $100 into each coin, then that is a decent spread, right? Now at this point, let's say six of those coins absolutely fail, go to zero, you lose all your money on them. So therefore you've still got $400 left in four different coins. Let's say two do a 2x or a 3x, then bam, you've made all the money back at plus more. And then let's say one or two coins do amazingly well and do a 50 to 100x, well then there, you've made back a lot, a lot of money and you've made tons of profit on top. And you can either take that and reinvest it into more stable coins or do whatever you want with it. So that is my, my kind of theory there. It's more risk management and uh, you know high risk, high reward. And if already 65% of my portfolio is in those top 20 coins, my risk is pretty much covered. If I was to lose everything else, I would still be okay because I feel like the gains from those top 20 coins will be enough to make up for that. So I hope that will make sense, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Um, and also let me know down in the comments how your portfolios are organized. I'd love to know. And also... Have a merry, merry Christmas and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We do still do two videos every single day and plan on continuing that, continuing that for as long as possible. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.